every life on this planet is very precious. Human life is like a wish fulfilling jewel. In order to bring the peace and harmony in this world, we all need to focus within ourselves to be enlightened by love and compassion. The only way to achieve true happiness is only by helping others. My name is Tukutsori Rinpoche. I am a Tibetan Lama, but I don't live in Tibet. In 1959, hundreds of thousands of Tibetan people have to escape from their own home. And with the blessings of His Holiness Dalai Lama, almost more than 50 refugee camps spread throughout the India. And for the last 50 years, we've been living in refugee camps. When you see some part of the Tibetan refugee camps today, it looks like a, a little Tibet. Some refugee camps are very nice, very improved. Some refugee camps are poor, have nothing, barely have food to survive. They had no proper running waters, no proper road. Even after 50 years, they've been living in that place. Living in exile, trying to survive in this low altitude where you have to face with all kinds of viruses, tuberculosis, to hepatitis, to malaria, to all these things that are not exist in Tibet. And these, these people were born in Tibet, actually. And even all these years, for the last 50 years, they're trying to survive. They're trying to really defend everywhere possible, from the poverty to diseases to the situations that they live in. And it's very sad to see each time you go into their home and the only thing they're doing is they're trying to survive. Tuku means that being who have got a awakened mind, full of compassion, who would wish to come back into this world again and again to benefit all sentient beings, to teach and liberate them from the cycle of suffering. I started visiting many refugee camps. There was one called Manpat, the poorest of all the refugee camps. 
people in that place barely have anything to eat. And I decided to do the project in that place to improve the people's life. When I started the monastery project in 2005, there was nothing in that place. It's an empty field. We began to build a small tent that we all can live in. And then from there, we tried to dig the water and we found the water. Then we built another three rooms and we were very happy to move into three rooms with uh, uh, almost 30 people. Today in the monastery, we have 14 dormitories, 16 toilet and bathrooms. Huge monastery ground floor. And three rooms for the teachers. Upper rooms for the Rinpoche. <laughs> and we have four cows, three goats, 14 dogs. And we are full of our family. He's, they call him Michael Jackson. Truly? <laughs> His name is Michael Jackson. We are not disrespecting Michael Jackson at all, but we are honoring him. We love Michael Jackson. Now we have 54 children studying. By the time we finish the project, we will have at least 700 children will be taken care in this monastery school. And soon we will finish this and we will have uh, many children in this monastery studying constantly and producing many great teachers to bring peace and harmony in this world. <laughs> Helping me take care of all the children is my wonderful concert wife, my love, Karzang, Karzang Dorma, who is my life partner. She is my helper, she is my supporter. Not only do we take care of all the other children, but we do have two beautiful daughters. We all are one happy family. Namo Gurube, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sangaya, Namo Nama. ที่นี่ชุดใจนะอันนี้จะมามาลอดตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวต
this is a huge project. It's a big project. And it's going to take time. Of course. But it will happen. We have a saying in Tibetan, Kale Kale, slowly, slowly. If you never give up, you will be there. You will make it happen. Kale Kale, Kale Kale, Kawa Kasa. Kale kale, kale kale, kawa kasa la le so. Kale kale, kale kale, kawa kasa la le so. Ah, you come on do it. Yeah, what's some chance some? Thank you. <laughs> We have such a little time on this planet, nothing is permanent and we must use each moment to help others to spread peace and dharma. Feeding the hungry is the dharma, clothing the destitute is the dharma, sheltering the homeless is the dharma. Living in the moment that every moment is impermanent and I must do it right now. I must act right now. I must move on.